Welcome back to Ridge Life. I'm Tim and guys, we are gonna finish up what we started this week. We cleared those bottom limbs on the pine trees so the dozer could get in there and clear the land for the barn. We got old Blue fixed, right? You know, she broke down, we fixed her same day. Can you do that, David? Come on. <laughs> We're gonna get back out here today, get all these stumps piled up, all the brush piled up, get that burnt, hopefully, and uh, we'll be ready to get the dozer in here on Monday and get it all cleared up. And goodness gracious, I I am excited. I hope you are too, so let's do this. Now that I got old blue fix, I can get to work. I'm gonna start first on these stumps. I'm gonna get all these stumps put on the brush pile. But guys, when you can fix your tractor yourself, it don't take two weeks to leave it in the shop. Ain't that right, David?
David, in case you're wondering, those are deer tracks. By the look of it, those are big buck tracks. I know you don't see many of those out there on Come On Mountain, but I got them here. All right, we got a bunch of stumps and a bunch of brush piled up here. And we make a huge fire here pretty soon. Guys, I was going to um, buck some fire pit wood. Uh, you've seen me buck fire pit wood before. I think what we're going to do instead is use that old pterodactyl claw on the front of uh, Old Blue, put her to some more use. I got some trees partially down, broken up high, uh, wedged between two, a, a tree. I think we're going to rip that sucker out with the pterodactyl on Old Blue. I've got a, a cedar tree that ice damage is half fallen over. I think we'll cut that and bring it and pile it up over here also. Uh, I think that'd be a fun way to end this day. What do you think? check out this tree guys you can see where it broke about eight or ten foot up and then it fell and it wedged on another tree so uh the fork is going around a tree so what i'm gonna do is get all blue over there and um, claw on one side of this tree that's broken and pull back and see if i can split it and break it off i don't know what's gonna happen but it's gonna be exciting
plan here is to have old blue clamp down the center of it and I'll use chainsaw cut the base it should balance out and then I'll take old blue take this old cedar tree over to that brush pile and man when it dries out it will burn just like that you're like Tim oh it's a beautiful you know at the 10 inch at the base cedar tree you could do all kinds of lumber or you know projects with it well I ain't got a mill and it's only one cedar tree so don't think I'm gonna do much here on the ridge with this one cedar tree so I think I'll make a big fire with it That was some fun work, I'll tell you guys. Uh, getting that land prepped for the dozer, getting those pine trees all uh, cut low, uh, getting all these stumps out of the field, put on the brush pile, getting my two trees that were down put on the brush pile. As soon as this dries, man, it's gonna be one heck of a fire and I can't wait to play with that. Uh, we'll come back out here, buck the rest of this firewood for a fire pit and uh, man, more and more happening here on the ridge. So hopefully the dozer comes next week. You know, I'm in outage this week at work uh, working 12 to 14 hours a day. So can't, it's not supposed to rain much this week though. So that's good for next week. Um, I will give you updates on ramblings guys. Hopefully you're subscribed to Ridge Life Rambling. That's my daily vlog where, uh, maybe next week or during the, uh, this week during the outage, I'm not going to be doing too much daily vlogging, but we'll see. 
But hopefully you're subscribed to that as well as subscribing to Ridge Life. It is free, 100% free, doesn't cost you a thing. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out here on Ridge Life or Ridge Life Ramblings. Hit the notification bell on that channel as well. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Go Ridge Life.